mushy blobs of earth dirt. My name's Hans, founder of this rainforest, obsessed with teal bricks, builder of cities, and berserk for Legos. Today you're going to see what happens when the old ruined brick bank gets expanded into Paradisa City's most premier nightclub. You're about to enter the vault. So get dressed to impress and let the party begin. Onwards to the origin story. Hey, how you doing? I like your cute hair and I see you got some plants. Formerly known as the Brick Bank, the Creator Expert Modular Building from 2016. Of course, whenever I say The Vault, it reminds me of the movie The Rock with Sean Connery and Ed Harris and Nicolas Cage on the notorious formerly prison island Alcatraz. That was an awesome movie. All right, so this is part four of my Creator Expert Modular Building expansions. I've already done the Palace Cinema, the Parisian Restaurant, and the Corner Garage, and now the Brick Bank. If you haven't seen those, go ahead and check them out. What I'm doing is I'm expanding all of these Creator Modulars within their existing base plate and removing this sidewalk and kind of building my own custom sidewalks uh, around the outside of it. So that gives me a lot more room inside and outside to do all kinds of awesome things. And the other thing you should know is that I'm planning on building a Lego city named Paradisa City, a tropical city in the future in the year 2060. And in the year 2060, banks don't really exist or not your normal banks that you go to to get cash and deposit checks and all that stuff. In the year 2060, that's all done on your phone. You don't even need to go to the ATM. You don't even need to go to the banks. Everything you do, you just pay for it right there on your phone even when you go and buy ice cream yeah and that's something that we're already starting to do you know with apple pay and google pay and samsung pay and now you just walk into any store that will accept it you can pay with your phone and i personally love that feature i would love to be able to get rid of my wallet i despise super bulky wallets i long for the day where i don't have to carry any wallet at all and everything's just on my phone and to me that's the future is be able to not have a wallet your phone is your wallet pretty much and having to go to the atm or having to go to the bank having to talk to a teller is a thing of the past and speaking of black from the past. The inspiration I got for turning this bank into a nightclub comes from my own personal history and quite literally a real life bank building was actually converted into a nightclub. I was going to college at San Jose State University and the nice thing about San Jose State University is that it is located right in downtown San Jose, really close proximity to a lot of the bars and the clubs and I, almost every week I was going out with my friends in the evenings on the weekends and going out to the bars and, and hanging out and one of the nightclubs that was there was called Vault and this is is what the building used to look like. It used to be the San Jose Building and Loan Association. It was probably built in the early 1900s, but when I was going to college, it got converted into a nightclub. So I'm not sure if Vault is a chain of nightclubs here in the US. Doing a quick search on the internet, I've seen nightclubs in other cities with the exact same name. But if you notice, the San Jose Building and Loan Association building, or the Vault, looked very, very similar to the Brick Bank. So when I got ready to expand this, I knew I didn't want to have a bank in Paradisa City because Paradisa City in the year 2016 he doesn't need a bank. So the very first thing that came to mind was, I know, I'm going to convert it to a nightclub. Unfortunately, the real life Vault nightclub only lasted about 10 years. It's still part of my favorite college days with all my old friends and uh, an ex-girlfriend or two. So I'm keeping the same backstory with the Brick Bank. It used to be the Brick Bank in earlier times and then banks began to get phased out. It was converted into a nightclub and it's been a nightclub ever since. And so the Vault nightclub, it's a nightclub, but it's also still carrying on that grand bank feel and theme to it. All right, what's new about this expansion that I've done here is on my previous modular expansions, I expanded them by six studs. And that pretty much meant that there was a couple of studs left over on the base plate. And that's just kind of how it worked out. But here on this brick bank, I actually expanded it by eight studs. So eight studs this way and eight studs this way because it's a corner building. So even better. And I'm really glad that I got the extra two studs compared to my previous modular expansions. So Another thing you'll probably notice is I have completely removed the soap and suds laundromat. That's completely gone. I wanted to have this entire building be the same architecture. So what I'll do is for the soap and suds laundromat, I'll do a separate build of that later on as its own entity. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, you should also know that Paradis City, a city of the future in the year 2060, doesn't really have cars. So it doesn't even have streets. It has underground autonomous roadways, but those aren't really for cars. Those are for shipping and delivery and services and all that stuff. Uh, so what does Paradisa City has? It has a walkable pathways everywhere throughout the city. It's completely walkable. And that's what this is. So I've created a, a walkable pathway going around the building 
And I even made it so that the walkable pathway can continue on this way and it can continue on that way. And of course, since it is a tropical city, I've got lots of plants all over the place. In Paradisa City, it's in a tropical environment and plants just grow everywhere and plants are just coming off the buildings and all the people in Paradisa City love plants because I love plants. And they like to grow plants all over the place and their buildings are just covered in plants. And of course, what we got over here is we've got the bouncer or the guy who is accepting admittance into the nightclub. He's got a little digital pad in his hand and of course in order to get into the club all you have to do is make a reservation or make your purchase through your phone ahead of time so that by the time you get there all you got to do is scan your phone to his little device and it basically confirms that they can go in and that they've already paid and so it's quick and easy and seamless got a line outside for people waiting to get into the nightclub because they want to party all right and before we jump into the super awesome interior which i can't wait to show you let's go ahead and do a quick review on on all the changes on the outside. Yeah. All right, and with the laundry mat taken out and the additional eight studs, you can see that it's the full base plate. This base plate is packed and it's stacked uh, this time around. And so with the extra eight studs, it gave me the two additional windows. And of course, with the laundry mat gone, I think it gave me this extra third window. And I like it. It's got this old stonework, European type architecture, all these columns going up and down. And of course, now I've got more stained glass window right inside the arches. And the same thing up here up top. I got two additional windows up here. Now, one of my favorite things about turning this into a nightclub, it is a premier nightclub. It's the place to be in Paradisa City, and it is a very luxurious nightclub, especially with the theme of the vault. And what better use of the metallic gold Lego pieces? Yeah, I just happened to get a shipment of these, of these door frames in metallic gold, and I was expanding the brick bank. I wasn't even planning on using these gold door arches, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be perfect. And then that just gave me the idea to use metallic gold as part of aesthetic decor of the vault. I've replaced one of the stonework pieces in the metallic gold, and of course all the windows and the door frames are all in the metallic gold, and I think it looks amazing. I even got metallic gold here on the clock, and I even got to build the vault logo in metallic gold as well, and that was a lot of fun. I kept changing my mind about how to do the, the U in the very center, but I like how it turned out in the end. And here you can see that the printed window pieces, these are the original four pieces that were on the bank and originally the brick bank only had one window here with the extra eight studs it gave me an extra window here and an extra window there and it also made this arch double as wide so the printed window pieces I took the two that were over here on the side and they just made all the front window pieces with this printed window and I did look online for getting more of these maybe for the other five windows over here but these are ridiculously expensive oh my goodness yeah I, th I think they were going like for $14 a piece that's a fat nope okay and also upstairs the windows got double in their width and then so did this arch right here. Now in order to incorporate this much larger arch, the original arch was only like four stud arch and this is an eight stud arch. I did have to increase the height this upper section and of course the vault sign's got tons of plants um, growing on top of it because it's tropical. It's a tropical vault and I've pretty much kept all the aesthetics the same. It's just been expanded in its width. Yeah and of course the back and the other side are just plain blank walls. There's nothing to show there and I've got a surprise up on the roof. I will show you guys that later. It's one of my favorite features towards the end of the video after I've gone through the first and the second floor. Yeah, the roof I think is pretty epic. And of course the roof trim, I've kept it the same and it just got wider up here at the top. So let's show you the first floor. All right, and welcome to the first floor. And the first thing you'll notice as soon as you walk into the vault nightclub is this amazing glamorous grand staircase that leads up to the second floor. So in real life, the vault nightclub that I used to go to in college also had a staircase of similar effect, and it was a single staircase that went down and then it split into two different pathways that led off to the left or the right of the first floor. Now I made this staircase way more glamorous than what was in that nightclub. I love how the staircase turned out. I'm using teal and gold for the decor colors, along with black for like the iron metal railing that holds the steps. And so the stairs go down and and I really like how I did these curved uh, steps. And it's got gold railing right there. As soon as I put on the second floor, you'll also see there's gonna be gold railing that also goes up the main flight of stairs. And of course, I also put in a tropical tree going right up through the center of the stairs right there. It's one of those plants that has green and red leaves that just look gorgeous. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to like lift and 
hold this up as I'm showing you guys. But here is the main dance floor area. And there's a pathway that leads to the back of the building. And there's a little door back there. So that's an emergency exit. Obviously, when you have venues that hold a large amount of people, you need to have safety in mind. And in case disaster or tragedy is, is bound to happen, there needs to be an escape route. So I added one over there. I could have added it to this last window over here, but I decided to just put a separate door at the back right there. So I'm using gray tiles and then checkered in between the gray tiles for the dance floor are these little spring green colored one by one square tiles. And here you can see I've got the, for the entrance way, I've got some more of the metallic gold tiles with the sand green. And that's just for the entrance way. Over here is where the bar is. In traditional bars and clubs, you basically have to fight your way through the crowds and wait like 20 minutes before you can even flag down a bartender and order your drinks just because it's so ridiculously crowded. Uh, but in the future, I've got it set up so that all you have to do is order your drinks right from your phone and then uh, you get a notification on your phone that lets you know when your drink is ready and has been made and then you just show up to the bar and get your drink. And so over here between the laser lights, you can see there's a bartender making some custom drinks. And over here, we've got a robotic bartender and he is lovingly named Hoppy and he is also your BFF. He is a favorite of all the frequenters of this nightclub. You can see that he is pouring a glass of beer and he's getting ready to put a cherry garnish onto one of his drinks. And Hoppy is super awesome. You can go up and talk to him and he will tell you jokes and he will give you relationship advice and, and how to meet boys and girls. And for the bar, you can see that on display are all the super expensive liquor and wine bottles. And I chose to use the sort of same kind of stonework decor that you see on these columns uh, right there. And of course, having that arch, it's basically emulating the exterior architecture of this building. All right, so I had to remove the stairs so you guys can get a better look at the vault. Yeah. All right, so this is the bank vault. The door does open and close. I kind of redesigned the hinging structure so that it could um, open and close better because on the original set it was over here in the corner. So inside the vault is a separate little dance floor and I'll show you that in a minute. And over here to the left are the bathrooms. So up on top of the vault is just enough room to have the DJ booth up here. And this is our resident DJ with her headphones and I'm using the new video alien DJ minifigure torso and legs for this DJ. Up here we've got a bench seat. Oh yeah, I forgot to Mentioned. there's also two bench seats for weary dancers down there at the very bottom for people to rest their legs take a break from a night of dancing and for the DJ I'm using the the DJ panel as well as the spinning record from the trolls DJ set over here I've got supplies and boxes for running the nightclub and here they can brew their own beer so these two giant barrels are for brewing beer and the other thing I want to do is that uh, since the the bank is kind of you know bank is all about money and and since US money is green, I wanted to keep with the green color theme. So I obviously had to kind of battle and balance this wanting to do super flashy electro lights, as well as trying to maintain the prestigious luxuriousness of a bank. So it was just kind of that, trying to balance it, trying to keep it on the luxurious side and not overdo the, the nightclubbiness of the whole interior theme. So I did do a little bit of this flashiness, but tried to keep it to a minimum. And of course, every dance floor needs to have laser lights. So I've got, I've got laser lights here. I've got purple, green, red, green. Blue laser lights are just zipping all over the place. These here are the, actually the speakers for the whole dance floor. And we've got these two guys. These are little dudes that are conspiring to go uh, flirt with some girls. And this girl right here is getting her drink. And we got some girls dancing over there. We got a couple dancing right there. And this guy is kind of freaking out because this girl over here is winking at him. He's obviously super shy. Doesn't know what to do. All right. And this just lifts right off. And that's what gives us access to the vault dance floor. All right, and so the vault has been converted into its own little private dance floor room, and we've got some electronic speakers there and there. We have a, hey, where'd the lighting go? We've got the bathroom, and there's a double sink right there, and there are two restrooms right there. And this dance floor has got a bunch of green lights embedded into the dance floor itself, and they pulse and strobe to the beat of music. And of course, 
course, over here, we've got remnants of what the bank used to be. The uh, contest winner for 500. And one last thing to mention on the first floor is that underneath the front bar are a bunch of uh, transparent green and trans neon yellow uh, window pane pieces on these arch windows. And the same thing for the vault itself. If you can see inside on the, the side wall of the vault, you can see the trans green and the trans neon yellow window pieces. And of course, when they remodeled the vault, they kind of cut through the side of the vault and added those windows. And so when the lights are going, those little windows are just glowing. All right, and welcome to the second floor, the mezzanine. And this is where the VIP tables are. So I've got four VIP tables. Unfortunately, the tables on the far left and right sides are only like a half table. So this one's got three seats. The other ones have six seats each. The VIP is you make a reservation and you get a whole table reserved for you and your party, along with a your bottle, your bottle of liquor of choice. Yeah. You may recognize the table, but the table is the same exact design as the table of the executive banker that came with this set, except for I changed the colors to tan and sand green. And of course, the assistant banker in the brick bank also used a dark earth green chair. So I'm using the same colors. I'm using, I ran out of dark earth green, so I alternated between earth green and black chairs. I have also added the vault logo, just a V and a teal circle up there. And I did white tiling using those chamfered corner pieces, and I tried to make this really cool looking little pattern. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera's focusing on it. And then I also did pulsing light tiles for the dance floor as well. So this isn't really a dance floor, but of course there's a small little section for people in the VIP tables to do their hanging out and their dancing and stuff. You got a group of girls and this this is her birthday party, so that's why she's wearing the tiara. And to continue on with the prestige of the vault, I've also got gold railing here. Here you can see where I have the railing for the stairs coming up, this gold bar. And I really like how I made it kind of disappear underneath this railing right there. And over here you can see I've used this trans neon green sword element as the railing for the stairs going up to the rooftop. And I really like that, but it still gives it that nightclub feel. And of course, over here we've got the record album. Everything is awesome. Now you may have noticed earlier when I was showing the exterior, this little gear right here. And that is actually for a light brick. Yeah. So what I've done is over here in the corner, I've inserted a light brick. I've got it set up so that it's basically a strobe light. And it's for the dance floor. I thought that would be a really awesome play feature. Now, unfortunately, the strobe light has too much of a yellowish orange color to it, so it wasn't quite what I was looking for. I tried to use some bright transparent neon green elements to change its color, but that didn't work. And the other thing is it's just not bright enough. So I'm a little disappointed with its effect. And I'll probably try to do something better later in the future. All right, and here is one of my favorite features, the rooftop dance, 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 dance floor of the nightclub, surrounded by tropical plants. Oh yeah. So you might be wondering what's going on around on the outside here. And since I got rid of the soaps and suds laundry mat, and I made the roof completely flat, I came up with this idea to kind of give it a more three-dimensional effect. And that was to basically add the same pillar columns that you see on the second floor architecture and have it kind of going up in a V shape and then go back down. And when I was doing that, then the idea came to me, why not make it into a bunch of ruins? So literally you have a dance floor, a nightclub dance floor on the rooftop for a rooftop party amongst the ruins of what used to be the third floor of the brick bank. And I gotta say, I love how it turned out. I love the whole idea and the whole concept. And it almost gives it kind of like a Indiana Jones or a, or a Tomb Raider Lara Croft kind of feel to it. It. So I've added the columns and the remains of the broken windows or what's left of the structure. So the basic backstory is that when this used to be a bank, there was a fire or a meteor hit the third floor and the whole third floor collapsed. But instead of demolishing the whole building, the following owners decided to turn it into a nightclub, also rebuilt it. It's the Brink Bank, man. We can't just demolish this building just because uh, we lost the third floor. So the nightclub owners decided to keep it and they also decided to add it as part of the history of the bank. Here here on the side of the building, you can see the columns that match where the windows would have been. The third floor architecture was identical to the second floor architecture. So you got the columns and you had the windows. Most of the windows are gone now. And then this is what remains of the windows. And I chose to use some light stone gray and dark stone gray elements to show like the smoke and soot damage from the fire occurred. So you can see that there's still kind of an arch right up there, a little corner of the roof piece right there. And going around to the back side is the same thing. And the stonework 
has been destroyed and crumbled and broken into fragmented pieces up here. Of course, we got some tropical wildlife also enjoying the tropical nature of the building. And since Paris' city is a tropical city and they absolutely love their plants, we've got a cluster of three trees growing right here. And we've got another tree over here. We've got another tree over here. We've got some tropical plants coming along the front here. Over here in the corner, you got two lounge seats for weary dancers to kick back and relax. We've got the bar over there. We've got another robotic bartender serving drinks. We've got some party lights strung up between the two trees. Because of the extra eight studs in expansion, I was able to get two extra windows on this skylight right here. So now it's a proper size skylight. And then I did the same thing for the uh, stairway door. So that just lifts right up. There's part of the stairs going down. We've got a couple of ladies that are walking around the skylight. We got my sig fig right here flirting with this uh, cute girl right there with her little plant. And, and of course, we got this little guy and he's uh, he's got a few tears coming down his face. He's not too happy because he's still in love with his ex-girlfriend and of course she's not exactly excited to see him either. We've got a couple of dudes who both decided to dress in all in white but they don't know each other so now they're having a stare down. They're like, hey, you dressed in white. They were kind of anticipating being the only dudes at the party dressed all in white. We got some girls and gals that are paired up and, and having some fun dancing together. I've got speakers mounted up here on that column and speakers mounted up on that column over there. I've got an exotic plant. One of those exotic plants where like it kind of grows this big giant leaf and then out from the middle of the giant leaf, it grows a little flower. And I absolutely love how this rooftop nightclub dance floor turned out. And for the dance floor tiling, I used gray and then I used Use the bright green and then in between the bright green I've also got trans green floor tiles that will pulse and glow with the music and here's a closer look at the ruins and on the underside I've also got the original brick bank chandelier but what I've done is I've changed the lights into these uh, trans neon lights trans blue trans magenta trans neon yellow and so when you're in the VIP tables or also going up the staircase this is the chandelier that you're gonna see all right so what did you guys think did I ruin it. <laughs> Would you have preferred it to be a bank or do you like this conversion to Paradisa City's hottest nightclub? Go ahead and leave a comment and go ahead and hit a like button. Whenever you guys leave comments and smash the like buttons, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that this should be shared with other people. I really, really like how this turned out. My top favorite features is the grand staircase, all the metallic gold, and the crumbled ruins of the rooftop. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. The rooftop, what did you guys think of the grand staircase? What did you guys think of the, uh, the metallic gold? Let me know what your guys' favorite features are. Uh, I gotta say that even though the brick bank isn't my most favorite of the Crater Expert modular buildings, I think that this might be my most dramatic and expansive remock of all my modular expansions. The fact that it ties to some of my personal history during my college days when I used to go night clubbing and partying with all my friends, this has now suddenly become a top five favorite. And stay tuned guys because I'm still working on the Grand Emporium. I have overcome a few challenges but there's still a lot more challenges on this one particular feature that I'm trying to add to it. And uh, I gotta say it's been a struggle but at the same time it's been a fun struggle and I might just have to do a tutorial on the feature that I'm working on. When I'm finished with the Grand Emporium I still gotta order more parts for it. So it's still gonna take a while but in the meantime I've got other videos coming up and and if you're new to my channel, go check out some of my other videos. I've got a hospital. And on that note, I'll check y'all later.